A Minneapolis man is suing Bloomington police and Hennepin County for their roles in a case of mistaken identity that landed him in jail for a crime he did not commit. Now our Mary McGuire covered this incident back in November of 21 and has the latest details for us tonight. I feel like I had to prove my innocence more than they had to prove I was a suspect. Kylese Perryman says the only crime he's guilty of is being a black man in America. Along with the ACLU of Minnesota, he's suing Bloomington Police and Hennepin County for their roles in a case of mistaken identity that landed him in jail for a crime he didn't commit. Kylie's Perryman was not one of the carjackers or robbers. He was nowhere nearby. Fox 9 first told you about Perryman's case back in 2021. In September of that year, he was arrested and charged with aggravated robbery after a group of girls were attacked and had their purses stolen outside Mall of America. According to the original criminal complaint, an analyst with the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office Criminal Information and Analysis Unit was able to ID Perryman off of Walmart surveillance footage of the suspects using a stolen credit card. But there were some big problems with that narrative. Perryman was clocked in at work when the car the two suspects were driving was stolen. And as the Mall of America crimes were taking place, Verizon data proves his cell phone was miles away at home. And shortly after that, a time-stamped photo also shows him at a family birthday party miles away in Andover. I feel like they looked at me and this other guy and they thought we're both African-American, so let's just say it's him instead of trying to do everything they needed to to find out it wasn't me. The surveillance images from Walmart also show a man with no tattoos on his right forearm, but Perryman has two. The charges were eventually dropped and expunged from his record. According to Perryman's attorney, other suspects were arrested for the crime. The idea that law enforcement can arrest someone, detain them for days in jail, um, and prosecute them simply because police think they look like the suspect with no other investigation is absolutely appalling. It's still unclear exactly how facial recognition technology was used in this case. In 2021, Hennepin County said an analyst was reviewing booking photographs for an unrelated case and thought Perryman looked like the man in the Walmart surveillance photos. If somebody actually did look at those two pictures and say it was the same guy, that's a whole other level of concern. Both Bloomington PD and Hennepin County declined to comment on the lawsuit. Mary McGuire, Fox 9.